story we're going to discussing the mechanism of breathing in one way okay so I'll try to analyze this diagram so diagram the nice diagram will be shown in the screen okay this is this I've drawn okay that diagram so basically here you have to understand first the parts of this okay the first one is something about nas nasal cavity or nasal passage we can say through air is passed passage this is nothing but oral cavity okay then tracheal be there or you can say uh windpipe okay back here lungs is there which is situated inside the ribs or ribs is something about the protective layer for the lip okay they are from Most important thing, diaphragm. Okay, fine. This is a simple dressing for water mechanism for the seat. So, main parts are labeled. Okay, so we will try to analyze the breathing mechanism. So, first thing here is that see, we take in air which is present in the atmosphere through what nostrils, which is nothing but here. Okay, your nostrils will be there and it is passed through what this nasal passage or nasal cavity we can say okay pass through travel through the nasal cavity and then it moves through the windpipe and reaches lung windpipe is nothing but we can say back here okay so it reaches here so it starts from your nostril nasal cavity and reaches what track here so air reaches there and reaches and enters into the what lungs which is present or which is surrounded by the ribs which is nothing but the protective layer for that okay now below the lungs or chest cavity so basically this region is nothing but chest cavity where the lungs are present okay so uh so below this lungs we can see over here this is a sheet type structure right sheet is basically what we can say muscle sheet this is nothing but what diaphragm so during the breathing process what happens the movement of both the ribs as well as diaphragm takes place that's the main concept here so because the lungs expand so the ribs also try to expand when it contracts the ribs also try to contract okay so this is the main thing so diaphragm diaphragms also expand and contract so so as we take care so as we inhale what happens the air gets filled up in the lungs area so when you inhale air gets filled up in the lungs area so, so basically the ribs expand so what happens lungs expands chest cavity expands the diaphragm moves downward okay try to analyze that by doing okay try to analyze when you breathe so it enters reaches lungs filled up expand the ribs also expand so this moves downward Try to analyze that okay now in the opposite way what happens when the lungs releases out air what happens it comes to the same position that means lungs contract ribs contract and this moves upward or we can say original position it may go back to the original position so try to analyze that okay 